So you've probably all been to an Italian restaurant and had a dessert and ordered a tiramisu and you get that lovely biscuity taste, the chocolatiness of it, the vanilla, the coffee. That's what we love. That's what we love about it. <laughs> now, on the cans here, they've very carefully written down for us what we expect in terms of hops, malt and yeast. I've gone through it together. It's exactly the same for both of these. The tiramisu so white malt and this white the malt. In flavor? Here it is. And I've also gone through the ingredients, the two different ingredients they've put in. Okay. For mouthfeel, it's the lactose. And for flavor, they've actually added some cocoa. Please, hawkers, how expensive is cocoa? <laughs> it's not that much. <laughs> now, we're going to give you a chance. We're going to give you a go. We're going to try your new white and we'll see what it's like. It's the bourbon aged, uh, the so, bourbon so aged is white this. Stout. So is this as well. Again, bourbon aged. Oh, they both are. Yeah. So bourbon aged will give you, again, a little I didn't bit more that. of a lift in terms of sweetness and, okay. and the high um, notes that you'll get on the palate. Uh, shall I try this for you, Sue? Shall oh, I open I think, this? I think it would be rude not to. Okay. Well, that's my stock in trade <laughs> at the moment. Uh -huh. oh. Come to daddy. So it's white, and true to its name, it certainly is white. It's whiter than I expected. Oh, it's lovely. So I'm getting vanilla, I'm getting biscuitiness in it already. I won't expect a cocoa with it, because oh. we know it's not got that. Hmm. Oh. I, I, Look, I, that, is, that is really great. <laughs> I'm getting a happy ending. <laughs> so let me tell you, um, before you came in, and we had to open up the gunner's mess, and that meant doing a lot of polishing of silver and brass and things like that and light and lighting, and lighting the, fire. the fire and you kin you used for kindling an old bed frame i and, did and we were listening it wasn't ghosts it was um <laughs> the wood was listening all sorts of uh noises of happiness and desire and things like that like don't stop Stuff yeah like that yeah <laughs> oh was it stop i'm not sure <laughs> oh that's so good that has got so much dark chocolate in there. That's what I'm tasting. <clears throat> I'm, I'm telling you that you're not actually tasting any cocoa at all. Um, what you're tasting is the sugars of the grains which are giving you that taste. Okay. But that's just as good because it's still doing it without actually having to cheat. But please, I think in time when we've earned our stripes <laughs> that hawkers are going to give us a call <clears throat> and a special invitation. And we are going to talk to them face to face, mano a mano, I think. And I don't care if we have to get it through both houses of parliament, <laughs> but we have to get the one we're about to try again back on the menu. Well, it would be against all of humanity not to. Yeah, oh, the humanity. Isn't that just a great stout? Now, Hawkers is hard to find in the stores. We've talked to you about it before. Um, it's something which I'd ask you to look for online and do the ordering online. Well, it's primarily a craft beer. Yeah. A, 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 it's primarily a, a micro brewery, although probably not quite so micro anymore because the word's gotten out. But it's primarily a craft brewery that happens to bring these things out and they have them out for a limited time. And uh, But they are oh so good. Mm. But this is just over and above, and they stop doing it. Are you out of your mind, hawkers? When you do make an order, um, tell them it's Susology sent you, and they'll get the gist of who we are <laughs> in time, I'm sure. Yeah. We're going we gonna to crack that before we crack something else? I've already cracked <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, by the way, Eleni, hello. I'm sorry? Uh, she's a good fan of yours. She really likes your humour. Does she? Yeah. Hi, Eleni. <laughs> oh, that's better than sex. He just isn't doing it right. <laughs> Have you finished that yet? Uh, um, the graphics are interesting. I think the problem for the camera really is the fact that they're playing on the fact that it's a white stout, which is so peculiar. Um, but it probably just doesn't translate when you're looking at it. It sort of looks like a bit of a Dungeons and Dragons motif yeah, for really to look at it. So it's very unique graphics, very unique packaging. It's a niche, niche, niche. Yeah, but the taste is just out of this world. They've got to start to put the lactose and, and the cocoa back. So the lactose, immediately on the tongue, it's thicker. And that's really the, the milk acid that they've got there. Oh, wow. 
it's like a double dose of that. Yeah. Isn't it? Folks, we've said it before, we think we found the best stout slash porter on earth. Unfortunately, at the moment, it's not on the menu. Bring it back. I want you to do a Big M Blueberry and have Miss Blueberry Big M back on the shelves every single year. We're going to be writing to them. We're going to be contacting them and telling them that if they don't, they're going to have protests out the front. We're going to start a movement. That's right, our own flag. Yeah. No, just, you were off to the rainbow, but that's already taken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Which variation of the rainbow? There's so many. <laughs> well, we're after a, a chocolate. <laughs> 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 oh dear <laughs> this is exceptional i don't say that lightly this try is try their beers do yourself a favor get online tell them that we sent you that way they'll start to get attention we'll start to get attention and we will make sure that this gets back back for you to try you've done the right thing you're here with us in the gunners club and welcome now didn't i call it out didn't i call it out Go back two months ago, did a video on Alka Pops. So basically soft drinks, sodas with alcohol in it. And didn't I say that there were gonna be some problems with hard solo? You did. Yes, you did. I called it. And what was most surprising was not the fact I got it right. It was <laughs> the phone call I got from you whilst you're at work saying, Gunner? Yeah, they've changed the laws. They had to change not only the color scheme, but the packaging and the name. Okay, they haven't changed the laws, but essentially it was decided that um, what they've done is created a product that the average man on the street would see that it could actually entice or be attractive to minors. Problem that I had. So they've got till early February to basically get rid of from the distribution channel all of that product, rename it from Hard Solo. Um, what do you think about that? I think they're all pussies. They really are. Snowflakes is what they are. Well, so here's the thing. And this is not just to do with alcohol. It's to do with self-regulation in total. Do you really think that the industry that self-regulates is doing it for our interest? Or it's just a lot easier for them to do for themselves? You know what they should do? Tell me. Bring back public floggings. Oh. On a pay-per-view streaming channel... I reckon they'd make a, a, a fort. Hey, can we open a new channel with that? Do you know what would work? <laughs> Remember the old-fashioned stocks? Yes! That they had where you put people there. We could sell the branded, self-regulated, branded bags of fruit. That's it. So you haven't thought it through? Uh, see, and it would help the farmers. It would, actually. Because all the stuff that Woolies and Coles don't yeah. take, you know, the ugly fruit? That's right. We'd have that for the It stocks. could be native product as well. There you go. Organic? Yeah. Well, it d doesn't have to be organic. Well, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> now, the search for the perfect porter slash stout goes on. And uh, I feel this is really our Gallipoli, what we're doing. We're really fighting to bring the best stout to you. And my word, I think that we found it. Did we what? Mm. A few videos ago... We were doing a piece on white stout that we found. And that's it over there. But you know what the bastards have done? They've discontinued it. We found it after all the digging and the beating our livers have taken for it. We found it and they've put it into mothballs. Something must be done. We need a movement. We need a protest, a movement, yeah. to get them to bring it back. Dare I say, by the people, for the people? Uh, yes. For my liver. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like what you see, what do they have to do? Double thumbs up, like, subscribe, and let us know down below. And if you can, I'm sure there are still a few hanging around somewhere, or if you've tried these before yourself, yeah. let us know and... Tell us if you don't think this is the best uh, white stout you've ever tasted. Full um, stop stout or porter. Full stop. Forget even white. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
We'll see you on the next one and the roll book will be marked.